Good morning, everyone. It's uh, 8.41 on Monday, the 15th. We're halfway through November, and this is your pre-opening comment. It is video number 1020. And I remind everyone, please, to hit that subscribe and the notification bar. Okay, um, dear finally has uh, a settlement with the UAW. The stock is trading 362 up 314 or eight tenths of a percent. Um, Deer didn't really get hurt. And so I'm not surprised to see it up less than 1% on the announcement. Um, but it does look like it may be set up to move now that, that uh, you know, seemingly interminable uh, strike has gone on. Uh, Southwest Airlines uh, offering extra pay and um, more benefits on mileage to its uh, workers to avoid holiday disruption. This is, I think, a very bad sign. I think, um, you know, we gave the airlines a ton of money to keep their people. They did keep some of them. They still laid off a bunch. They've caused a lot of discontent amongst their employees, and uh, now they're paying for it, which basically means we're paying for it because it'll all be reflected in price and delays. Uh, Airbus says they can't keep up with demand. They're at um, they're at uh, the Emirates uh, Air Show, and um, they say that their biggest product is the single aisle. Uh, aisle. Um, and at the same time, Frontier Air, ULCC, also confirmed that they are buying 90 more of these planes uh, because it costs roughly half to run them on jet fuel, uh, which has been very, very expensive. Uh, Boeing up 670 at 22766 on some Emirates Air Boeing 777 purchases. Uh, Dollar Tree, DLTR, gets an activist. Uh, the stock is 12117 up 890 or 7.2% on that news. And Core, C O R, is being acquired by American Tower at 170 in cash. Um, that's only up 341 or 2.1%, but uh, the fact is the stock has been up. Tyson beats. Stock is 82.26, up $1.3 or 1.3%. 1 uh, also on the buyout, <laughs> this is kind of funny. I used this symbol mistakenly a couple of times uh, a couple of weeks ago when I was trying to trade CRISPR. Uh, but it's not uh, CRPS, it's CSPR, and it is uh, a buyout at $6.90. That's Casper. Uh, $6.90. The stock came out in early uh, 2020. On its first week, it traded as high as fifteen eighty five, and then last week traded as low as three eighteen. The stock is six seventy seven, up three twenty three, or ninety one percent on the news. And uh, Empire State came out about ten minutes ago, and it was a large beat, thirty point nine versus an expectation of 22. Uh, and that seemed to help the market. Before it came out, the Dow was up 140. It's now up 166. The S&P was up 13. It's now up 18. Um, and the uh, NASDAQ was up about 43, currently up about 78. Um, Asia and Europe both higher. More talk about um, more talk about uh, COVID in uh, Germany, especially on the eastern edge of Germany. Uh, hospitals, their top pulmonary uh, issues hospital, is over capacity uh, with COVID patients, seventy percent of which are on uh, ventilators, and. 
if you think things are bad and you think the weather sucks, it could be worse. Aswan, Egypt, heavy rains causing, <laughs> I know I shouldn't really laugh at this, causing an influx into the streets and homes of scorpions. Three have already died there. And uh, it looks like uh, there's some talk from the spineless Joe Biden uh, White House about replacing Jay Powell with Lal Brainer. Uh, the reason that I say it that way is because uh, she is definitely a pick of the Elizabeth Warren Bernie Sanders progressive squad group. Um, and it also sets up a kind of a precedent of people coming in and nominating someone who is more sympathetic to their party. So we'll see how that goes. All right, everyone, have a good morning. Be careful out there. I know the market looks strong. And all of these issues don't matter. But as my friend Dennis says, they don't matter until they matter. And then it's.